Again, let's welcome Coach Solomon Bozeman to the podium. you guys down. And that, that's a fact. I'm, I'm definitely going to get to work. My staff is going to get to work. I'm excited about this opportunity. Uh, next, I got to thank my lovely wife, Marla Bozeman. Uh, she's the backbone of our family. Uh, she sacrificed so much for me to get to this point. I want you to know I love you and I appreciate you. Next, I would like to thank my mom, Sherry Bozeman Brown. <laughs> Trust me, you guys are going to hear a lot at the games. Trust me, that's my mom right there. You will know who she is. She will be the loudest at all of the games. But uh, she's the reason I wake up every morning at 3 or 3.30, every morning. Uh, mom, you can steal the work ethic in me. It's second to none. I want you to know how much I love you, how much I appreciate you. Next, I want to thank my stepmom, Felicia Bozeman. She's not like a stepmom to me, she's my mom. Uh, she's been very supportive of me uh, throughout my entire life. She's been there for me. I want you to know I love you and I appreciate you. This next guy here, my dad, Eric Bozeman. I, I can't thank him enough. Uh, this guy right here, man, is he means the world to me. Uh, I wouldn't be here today without him. He's taught me so much about life. He's taught me, he's made me the man that I am today. He's my mentor, he's my father, he's my role model, he's my best friend. It's my dad, Eric Bosman. Dad, I want you to know I love you and I appreciate you. This next guy, I have to thank him. Um, he's like a brother to me. My guy, Ronnie Williford, he's been there with me. He's uh, made a huge impact in my life. That's right. We don't always see eye to eye. <laughs> But I know at the end of the day, he loves me. He's got my back 100%, and I can trust him. Ronnie, I want you to know I love you, and I appreciate you. Yeah. I would like to thank some coaches that have been influential in my life. There's a lot of coaches, trust me. But uh, Paul Mills and Oral Roberts, West Flanagan at Auburn University, and Joe Golden, who's now the head men's basketball coach at UTEL. Those guys, man, I can't thank those guys enough. They prepared me for this opportunity, uh, put in a lot of hours. Uh, they gave me, gave me hope, even with times when I didn't even believe it. Uh, I can't thank those guys enough for this opportunity. I would also like to thank Coach Peterson, Coach Peterson is a guy that, that changed my life coming up, growing up as a young man. Um, always was honest with me. Always told me the truth. Um, Coach, I want you to know I thank you and I appreciate you. Um, to the UAPB fans, to the UAB, UAPB community, to all my people in Arkansas that's been behind me and support me 100%, I want you guys to know that that we're going to win here. We're going to win multiple championships. We're going to get to the NCAA tournament multiple times. And when we get there, we will shock some people. 
I want you to know that. Because we're going to put in some work. Trust me, we will work it. How we're going to do that is by creating a winning culture. How we're going to create a winning culture is by having enthusiasm, integrity, and commitment. I want you guys to know that I'm going to recruit high character guys. I'm going to recruit guys that love to be in the gym. I'm going to recruit guys who love being coached. And then I'm going to recruit guys that want to get a college degree. Because at the end of the day, that ball will stop bouncing. And when it stops bouncing, I will be that guy to help these kids get degrees. I will be that guy to help these guys be successful out here in the real world. Again, like I said, we go win here. Right here. I want everybody around here in Arkansas, the UAPB fans, the community, get your popcorn ready. <laughs> it's about to be fun and exciting. Right. I'm telling you right now, we're going to play exciting brand of basketball mm. on the offensive end. We're going to play with pace and space. On the defensive end, we're going to be tough and gritty. Mm. We will be one of the better defensive teams in the country. And I want you guys to know, like I keep saying, we will win here. Right. And I expect to win here. Right. And I'm and I'm not planning on taking two to three years. <laughs> we want to get this thing done in year one. <laughs> so I just want to thank you all for coming out. I appreciate you for being here. Go Golden Lions.